Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruding. And I'm Dave Slater, Chief Engineer and Assistant Director of Transportation Policy. Well, we saved the best for last. You are the final guest host before we meet our new co-host next week. So I guess, Dave, tell us a little about yourself and your time here at ODOT. Sure, Matt. So I've, uh, I've been at ODOT about 26 years, spent about the first 18 out in ODOT District 5, uh, had several roles out there. Uh, in 2014, I came to central office as the deputy director of the Division of Engineering. And in 2019, I moved over to become the uh, deputy director of the Division of Construction Management. Then in August of 21, uh, Director Marchbanks asked me to uh, come up and, uh, and become the Assistant Director of Transportation Policy. Well, we're really thrilled to have you here and helping us out this week, so let's get started. The Safe Routes to School program is open for applications. This program, which provides funding for infrastructure improvements such as pedestrian and bicycle crossings, new or improved sidewalks and bike racks, is now funded at $5 million a year. In addition to infrastructure improvements, it also helps to fund activities like walk to school days, bike rodeos, public awareness campaigns, and educational programs. This is an impactful program that really encourages walking and biking to school and makes it safer to do so. Applications are being accepted until March 3rd, so be sure to encourage your local school district or municipality to apply. A train derailment in Columbiana County last weekend resulted in a massive fire. It happened near East Palestine on Friday night. And ODOT crews helped law enforcement and the Ohio National Guard provide traffic control with several road closures. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating the incident. This week has been Ohio Loves Transit Week. Now, last week we told you about some of the funding coming to Ohio for public transportation. Ohioans are served by 67 transit systems, 27 of them in urban centers, 40 in rural areas. You know, Ohio's transit system spends over $832 million annually, which generates about $3.3 billion in economic activity. These systems provide 61 million rides annually, including 1.5 million that meet the needs of seniors and people with disabilities. Director Jack Marchbanks accepted an award from Federal Highway Administration Ohio Administrator Lori Leffler, recognizing the Ohio Transportation Innovation Council. This group recently expanded its membership to include a more diverse viewpoints and develop a long-term collaborative approach to promote innovative ideas statewide. And this group includes ODOT, the County Engineers Association of Ohio, the Rural Transportation Planning Organizations, and, in, and Metropolitan Planning Organizations to better understand the impacts projects could have statewide. If you are a local government, municipality, township, planning commission, or any other entity that applies for transportation grants, then listen up. There are billions in federal discretionary grant funds currently available right now. We have everything from the Appalachian Regional Initiative for Stronger Economies grant, the Port Infrastructure Development grant, to the RAISE program, Lower No Emissions grant program, and many, many more. I brought my man, Andrew Shepler, Federal Grants Coordinator, to tell us all about it. Thanks, Dave. So this is a really great opportunity for Ohio uh, transportation projects to really get some more funding. Um, there used to be a couple grant programs out there. Uh, the RAISE program is one infra that locals could apply for um, with a few billion dollars a year available. Now we're talking more than $30 billion a year, over 60 different grant programs on a national level. And we've been very successful recently in getting some new awards, including uh, $1.6 billion coming to Ohio and Kentucky for the Brent Spence Bridge. Wow, man, that is amazing. So look, for, for these uh, municipalities and you know folks who can have access to these grant opportunities, where do they need to go to apply and to get more information? My hope is that our website, transportation.ohio.gov slash BIL, put some resources out there to kind of help locals understand the different grant programs and prioritize their effort so they're not um, trying to find information on 10 different websites. Um, and they can apply for the programs that make the most sense for them. Wow, that is amazing, Andrew. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a huge deal. Uh, for Ohio and for the locals and we just appreciate all you do man keep up the great work Thank you and like Andrew said you can find all the information on more than 60 different grant programs at transportation.ohio.gov slash bill B-I-L so don't wait some of these grants are accepting applications right now I know preparing grant applications can be very challenging but don't worry we're here to help who knew well thanks a lot guys Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media. And keep sending those great story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now you're in the loop.